a co-ed dance squad. I just read the tweet from, from the Washington football team saying that they are going to replace their cheerleading squad with a co-ed dance squad. This video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be kind of off the cuff. Uh, there's no script. There's no rehearsal or anything like that. I just wanted to do this very quickly. So you're, you may hear a lot of ums and me fumbling around my words, but I really felt it was very important to get this video out as quick as I possibly could. And so I just want to talk briefly about what we have just heard regarding the cheerleading squad. Now, as all of you may or may not know, there was a big issue with the cheerleading squad uh, back a few years ago uh, with the uh, front office um, wanting them to basically uh, pose for semi-nude photos or uh, whether if it was with or without their consent, they were kind of pressured, the cheerleaders that is, uh, into doing that. And um, you can certainly look up articles on this and, and the uh, sexual uh, allegations and all that that followed. But since then, we had learned about a couple of weeks or so ago that the Washington football team had paused their cheerleading squad. And I wasn't quite sure what that meant. You know, uh, my thinking was, okay, they probably just basically got rid of all of the cheerleaders and they're just going to replace everybody with brand new cheerleaders and, you know, just kind of restart with the clean slate. However, what we're finding out is, is that they are not only replacing the cheerleaders, but they are completely <laughs> replacing the cheerleaders with a co-ed dance squad and you know from what I hear it's about you know uh, um, unity and not leaving anybody out and and some of um, I read some of your um, uh, comments on the uh, video I did on the uh, cheerleaders getting paused and feel free to, to watch that video as well. Um, and some of you are not very happy as far as what the Washington football team has decided to do. And, you know, some are uh, kind of talking about the LGBTQ. Um, I never know if I'm um, including all of the, the right letters with that or not. No offense. I just, anyway. Um, I, my thoughts on the matter is I don't watch football for the cheerleaders, but I will say, yeah, you know, a, as a dude, um, certainly cheerleaders are, are pretty cool. <laughs> um, but I've noticed that as the years have progressed, the uh, cheerleading squad has got in, gotten, um, I guess, sexier, um, a little bit more what's the term? I, I guess just basically, um, yeah, I guess they've just gotten sexier. They've gotten sexier with their outfits, uh, with their dance moves and whatnot. And so I guess I can, you know, I'm trying to take a step back from this and, and see because I can kind of understand the idea of wanting to be inclusive. Um, do I think that we might be going a little far with some of the things that we're canceling and changing. Yes, but at the same time, again, I I watch football for football. You know that I'm not watching it for the cheerleaders. And even when when I'm at the game, I don't. You know, I, the times I have been to see a professional football game. Honestly, I never really paid much attention to the cheerleaders, and partly with that might have been because, A, my wife was with me, and I don't want to be dead, and two, I was probably <laughs> sitting so far up that the cheerleaders looked like ants anyway. So, honestly, I always paid more attention to football, and to be honest with you, back when I was a young kid watching football on TV, 
I never even knew we even had cheerleaders. <laughs> Honestly, the only cheerleading squad I ever really even knew about was the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders because there was such a big to-do made about the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders throughout the years that I knew that they had cheerleaders. And I always thought, okay, well, we don't have cheerleaders, but we have a band that plays our fight song every time that we score a touchdown. And that's the way I thought it was. Honestly, I don't think it was until, you know, toward the end of the 80s, maybe the early 90s, when I saw that, oh, we do have cheerleaders. Uh, you know, that they didn't have the sexy Dallas Cowboy cheerleader type of outfits, um, but um, I realized we did have them. But, but again, I, I, I don't know, I just never really paid much attention to it until recent years, and then it's like, whoa, okay. <laughs> um, but <laughs> having said that, I'm not trying to minimize this. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I realize all the issues that came about with the cheerleading squad, but do we really have to cancel the cheerleaders, and do we now have to have this co-ed thing? I mean, I, I just... I don't, I don't really get it. Uh, me, personally, I just don't get it. Honestly, I would rather have the band back. And I realize, I guess, now we don't really have a fight song because we, we don't have a name. Um, so, but I, that's me, personally. Maybe I'm starting to get kind of... A, a, you know, older fuddy-duddy type of dude, but I, I would, I would rather have the band back um, because I think that was a huge part of our football team as I was growing up and throughout the, the glory years and and whatnot. Um, but I do realize that there is a pretty large uh, segment, male segment, of the population that. Um, likes having cheerleaders and is part of um, or they feel like that that is just as big part of football as the actual game itself and hey I understand that completely as well um, so it is kind of it is kind of weird I, I don't really ultimately I don't ultimately I just don't know what to think of this it's just uh I think sometimes we can go through so much change that then it, you know, like we don't understand how to have a balance with change. You know, it's either have to be on one spectrum to the other end of the spectrum. It can't be like middle ground, it seems like. So I guess I'm saying that I'm not quite necessarily on board with this change but it's what's going to happen. And ultimately for me, as a football fan, I really just want the team to win. And I want them to win Super Bowls. And I want to be proud of my franchise. So if this helps to really keep the culture change going, but in a good direction, then I'm all for it. Um, but at the same time, I kind of understand it and I see it on the other side. Uh, you know, I, I don't know about this, this co-ed stuff, but again, I'm, I'm probably a, a fuddy-duddy, so there you go. You know, you can go ahead and rip away, at, you know, in, in the comments, but um, I'm probably not alone in, in thinking, thinking about that. So anyway... Having said all that, I'm going to shut up about this. I hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, then smash that like button. Give me a comment. Um, and, of course, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing. I am trying to grow this channel, and it's growing pretty well. I'm really excited about what we have on this channel and what we're going to have in the future. All that being said, hell to the Washington football team.